Hello, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have another marketplace video for you today, but first I just want to quickly show you um, what I've added to my shop this morning. And I added more alls. I sold out of the other ones and you all asked for more. So there's 10 in the shop now. I put the silver roses on them. So they're the silver rose alls. It's kind of a red color uh, wood and what I love about it I have one I've kept one myself and I use it is the point I feel like it is the perfect size for journal binding holes so um, these are available in the junk journal supplies section of my shop we'll see if 10 is enough for everybody to get one if not I'll have to order another batch and uh, go from there and then I also did a little Easter journal card set this is a set of six they are vintage um, postcards that I printed on ivory card stock they're so cute they're little bunnies and roosters and this set is from my vintage digital club and it was one of the emails that I sent out there's so many things you can do with the emails that you get. So if you're interested in joining the club, you can, um, there's a section in my shop right on the front page for that. You can get the printed version if you don't have a printer, or you can get the email version where you get links to all of these vintage digital images. And even though we're at the end of this session, there's two months seasons or sessions of these emails that you sign up for. Um, even though you're buying it here at the end, you're still going to get a link for everything that's been shared. So you're still getting all of the same stuff. So these are super, super, super cute. They're, um, I just love the colors and how funny they are. I backed them with fabric for texture. I thought they'd be great for sticking in journals. Um, I've done a little bit of a fancy stitch and then a straight stitch around it in yellow thread. So there's two with the green backing. And then I did two with this pretty uh, small print blue floral. This one says Easter greetings. There's the roosters. And then I've done two with this kind of textured blue right there. So it's just one set of six. You get all six. That's also in the junk journal supply section of my shop. So now to get on to the Marketplace, if you're new to my channel, the Marketplace is a cons online consignment shop that I started for people who have junk journals, make junk journals, but have no real outlet or successful outlet to sell them. So you send them to me and I sell them for you and um, you get a percentage of what they sell for. So I have two boxes to share today from two different artists. We're going to start with Vicky, Vicky Treatster. And we have, uh, I'm pretty sure we sold journals from her before. Let's see, I think she wrote me a little note. Oh, she made me an envelope here. I had asked her about these envelopes before or had said how much I loved them. So she sent me one that I could either use as a template or use in my um, journal. So thank you, I am so happy. She said attached envelope was created by making a die cut flap. So, she sent me this so I could either use it as a pattern or whatever I wanted. So I love that. And thank you so much. All right. So let's get into the journal she sent us. I haven't opened them yet because this is the second time she sent journals. And I know that I trust her journal making ability and I don't need to double check them. I know they're fabulous. Yes. And she's made these, if you'll remember, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, she made these denim journals and they're so pretty there's the ribbon it's like I think they're made from jeans or something like that but look at they're so soft and fluffy like they feel so good I'm not sure which side is the front so I'm gonna guess it's maybe this side oh yep so it's just a fabric it feels wonderful it's stiff though so it's not like super flimsy so you have a little baggie with some journal cards and a cute little booklet and things that you can use in the journal. It's a nine by six shabby jeans with goodie bag. And this tells you all about the journal. So you'll get that um, when you get the journal. These are listed in the marketplace section of my shop. If you do not see them there, then they have sold. There's an embossed key. That is so pretty. Look at her collage ability. 
So, you, I mean, she started with a bingo card, but there's lace, there's dictionary paper, embossing, paper flowers, rhinestones, die cuts. So pretty. These flip out for journaling. Look at how cute. That's a great idea. Make little card tags. Oh, that's cute. She cut down a playing card and rounded the corners. She has some ideas that I have never seen before. So truly inspirational to me. Got a little envelope there. Little pieces in this. Look at the fabric ribbon. I hope I stay in frame. I can't see in my viewfinder very well. So we got top tucks here and here. Super cute. I like her rounded corners on the journals as well. This is a tuck spot. I always forget to try rounded corners, but I do like the way that they look. How cute. Look at that. So pretty. There's another embossed key. Another bingo card. So pretty. And it's embossed there too. I love this lace. That is so pretty. Oh, look at that. How cute. Wow. Inspiration Central here for me. She's done a lot of inking. There's a tuck spot. <laughs> so pretty. I love this. Very, very nice. It's super chunky. It feels great. So we have that one. And here's another one. Oh, it's another blue jeans one. Look at how cute. She has all these dangles. Look at how pretty everywhere. And you could take those off and use them on your journals too if you wanted to. The closure is like a jeans pocket, but it snaps closed. She made one like this last time and it was just amazing. How pretty. Blue jeans and lace. How pretty. <laughs> Principles of English grammar. Stitching and collaging. I love how she did that. It's like putting a book page on the page. That is just, I love it. Oh, look, it's a little like file folder. You could tuck in pictures or ephemera. Hope I'm in frame. So pretty. And then she did it back here, but then she also put this tuck spot, double tuck spot, music paper, belly bands. I love her butterflies everywhere. Different kinds of paper. That would be beautiful to like tuck a photo under. And these would be beautiful as photo mats as well. You could either add more collaging onto it, or you like if you have the little photos, you can put a little photo, and it's like a photo mat ready to go. That's what's really beautiful about this journal is it is so set up. You would not have to decorate it anymore, but it's not over decorated. So you could decorate it, but if you wanted to, there's just places for you to write and tuck photos, and it still looks like a complete journal. So yeah. How pretty it would be to tuck photos in there. Perfect, perfect, like, memory-keeping journal. 
There's lots of places to write. I think it would make a good um, like daily journal, like to-do journal as well, because you could tuck in receipts and things like that. So that just snaps closed. So pretty. And there's another one. This one's different size. Oh wow, look at that. It's like a travel spiral bound book. So pretty, look at the colors. Oh my, you guys are gonna like this one. It lays really flat, let's see. It's called Adventures. It's a wire bound journal, eight by eight and a half, 44 pages. Colors are so beautiful. So it's like a junk journal, but it's also kind of like a memory album. This reminds me when Jessica over at I'm a Cool Mom, before she started the actual like junk journals, she did um, wire bound journals similar to this. And I love how they lay open. You can still do all the junk journal stuff in it. So nice, oh look, little map, little drawer. This is perfect for um, your summer travels. It would be an excellent gift, maybe for a teacher, like before summer break. So pretty, so this is a really nice heavy board too that she's covered and added the end papers. So pretty. So that's everything from her box, but I have another box to share with you. And this is, um, I don't find her name, but she is from the Dominican sisters in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. If I get this right, she works in like a care home and she all the proceeds from this go to that care home or her her part i think she has her name in here i'm trying to remember what her name was so hopefully it's in here but she likes to make journals in um, her spare time and she would like to have a use for them and to help support the people that she cares for which i think is so truly lovely so she's covered this in this really pretty lace. So you will get this piece of lace if you buy this journal. Look at how pretty. That has like a glossy accents on it. It says retro spring. Look at those flowers. I love the colors. This is like a hardback kind of canvas. Okay. It's called Retro Spring. I'm still not seeing it. I wonder if she forgot to put her information in here. I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere else. I will go find that information and come back. Okay, so I looked her back up on the Facebook message that she had sent me. It's Sister Sismona. I hope I'm saying that right. With the Dominican sister, she's a nun. She works in an elderly care facility. And she said the grandmas and grandpas there are her biggest fans of her artwork. And she would like to sell these and her proceeds go to help the help elderly care home. So you are definitely doing a wonderful thing by purchasing these journals and helping to support her work among the elderly. So I think that is so lovely. There's a really pretty floral one there. I love the size of this journal and these colors are so cute. I think this is kind of on trend for summer this year. This is also so bright and cute that I think if you have a daughter or a granddaughter um, that they would love and appreciate this to journal in over the summer. Maybe even, you know, maybe if you're trying to introduce a concept like this to a daughter, a granddaughter, a niece, a great niece or something. Look at that trim. So cute. 
you could also give them this and say, you know, when you're doing your homework and you're practicing your spelling list and you're, you're need scratch paper for your math problems and, and your notes and things like that, try, try doing that in a cute journal like this and just say, you know, it might just kind of make homework a little more fun. I know, oh, look at that flip. It's all sewn together. And I just think how fun would it be to have this be your math scratch paper. And while you're doing your homework and you're, and you're figuring things over here, and then you're practicing your spelling words over here, it's just, it might seem like, oh, I wouldn't want to waste a journal with that, but I think it would just lift your spirits. And I think maybe introducing them, just say, hey, try that, you know, bring this to school and use it to take notes in. And it would just be so cheerful. I don't know, like, let me know what you think below. Is that a good use for a journal like this? So here is a little cute booklet and some little punch letters that you could use. It would also be so cute to bring to school and get all of um, your friends, like if you're giving this to a granddaughter or a niece or a daughter, and before summer, she can have all her friends draw in it and doodle in it and write notes in it and everything else. And she will have those memories tucked away in a beautiful journal. Of course, if you just love bright colors and spring yourself, get it for yourself. And, oh, I came off of that. I can fix that, no problem. Yeah, so you could do it for yourself as well. And just, this is the type of journal that I would keep my personal household information in. Um, as far as my meal plans and my to-do list and my cleaning lists and things like that. I use a journal for that right now. I've been using it for a long time because I, I don't do it all that often, but that Cheryl Dean made me and I love it. So there we go. So this, I will include this piece of lace with it. I'll just wrap it in there because I think that lace goes so well with it. And then she sent this one, Dare to Dream. Looks like a beach type theme. So cute. This is like that canvas too. There is an elastic closure. All right, how does this open? Oh, cute. Love it. It's a tr it's like a threefold, so that protects those pages really well. So if you're throwing this in your luggage or in your suitcase, in your purse, it's going to protect it. And you don't have to worry about the edges getting all smushed. It's a really pretty colors. Look at that. It's almost like a net. It's like a doily, but it's almost like a net. This is the perfect time of year for selling a journal like this. Everybody's thinking about summer and the beach and their trips and all of that. This would be a wonderful gift too because it's so practical. It's not over the top. So then that just closes over it. I love that. It feels really good. It feels really nice. So there's that one. And there's one more here. Oh, I can get into it. I'm guessing this is just wrapped around it. Yep. And I'll keep the journal wrapped in this as well. So you can have this really pretty piece for your your own crafts. Look at how pretty. It says identity. Look at that lace on the spine. Look at how beautiful. Look at the lace on the edges. And then this has like a little hitch post fastener. So that just goes over it and opens this way. Super simple. Wow. Really pretty colors. Some Tim Holtz people, journal cart, hook it, they're sitting on that. Little tag pulls out. Oh, 
I, this is a true work of love. You can tell a lot of time and thought went into this to choose the papers. They're all inked. All these pages are inked. Look at how pretty. What? Photo mats. Butterflies. I love this one. It's so pretty. So practical. That's what I really, really liking about her journals is how practical they are. They're beautiful and you can tell she paid attention to every single detail. Everything is inked, sewn in. There's lace between the signatures. Everything feels super sturdy, well put together, well made. You can feel the love that was put into it when you're flipping through it. That's not something that I can really share on a, you know, over the video, but I can feel the love that was put into it. But yet, it's so practical. The writing spaces, the places for photos. There's a little booklet. Cute. Look at how pretty that is. I don't know what paper she used, but they're really pretty. I can't tell if they're actually scrapbook paper or if they've been if she printed them. I, I think they might be printed, I'm not sure. Look at that. So pretty. Look at that doily. Oh, that's a treasure. Someone's getting a treasure when they get this. And this beautiful piece. It'll come wrapped in that so you get to keep that. So that's all that I have to share today. I hope that you will purchase their journals, support the marketplace. Please look over the journals that didn't sell from previous videos and consider adding one to your cart so that the artists, they don't get paid until you purchase it and it gets shipped out. So thank you for supporting the marketplace. Thank you for supporting me and my um, endeavors. And I love each and every one of you. I'll see you all in the next video.